So once dupe guru is loaded, we head to the bottom here and click the plus icon and choose the drive or folder that we want to look at and then hit the scan button. This scanning process can take a few minutes, so be patient. Once it's finished, you'll see a list of duplicates with the file name, the folder they're in, and the file size. Dupe Guru has this gray background and blue text, and I find that quite hard to read. So I'm gonna head over to View, Options, Display. I'm gonna change the foreground color to navy, the background to yellow, and the text size to 12. I reload the app for the text size to update. Now, if you look at my duplicates, you'll notice the file names aren't the same, and that's because Dupe Guru looks at the file size and something called an MD5 hash, which is like a signature for each file. So if you look at the last column, which is match percentage, you'll notice they're all 100%, so we can be sure that the scan is accurate. Now, at this stage, I could choose mark all, and then under actions, send them all to the bin we need to check that Dupe Guru has highlighted the right version for deletion. So I'm going to go to the top here and choose Dupes Only. I'm going to drag out a selection on the files that start with MVI. Then I'm going to hit the space bar to mark them. And then I can send them to the bin from the action menu.